Today I want to show you guys how to farm Souls of Might. And to get Souls of Might, you need to kill the Destroyer. If you know how to do that already, then off you go. Souls of Might are used in a lot of recipes. You have the Mega Shark, for example, Pickaxe Axe, True Knight's Edge, Avenger Emblem, among other things. And I'm going to show you guys how to get lots of them in one night. So if you do this, you're going to end up with so many Souls of Might that you probably won't need to fight Destroyer again in your entire playthrough. So I'm going to use the Daedalus Stormbow and I'm going to use Holy Arrows. And we're going to go up nice and high so that he can't reach me. If you fight them on the ground, you're going to end up getting hit by him constantly and you won't be able to do what I'm about to do. So you need to make mechanical worms to spawn the destroyer. You're going to need to go to your mithril anvil and you're going to need to want to bring iron bars, vertebrae and souls of night and make as many of these as you can. So I've made four of those now and the item that I didn't have them enough of was iron bars actually. So I had enough vertebrae, I had enough souls of night. If you're on a corrupted world, you're going to be using rotten chunks and you get those from killing enemies in the corrupted area. Vertebrae are by killing enemies in the crimson area. We don't really need much up here to fight the destroyer, but we have our little heart statue, our heart lantern, and we'll put down our gnome as well in order to gnome the destroyer. If you're farming destroyer, then you're going to want to have turtle armor or beetle armor. Depends on where you want to fight destroyer in your playthrough. And what I mean by that is, if you're killing him for the first time, you're only going to have basic armor. You're probably going to have hallowed at most. You're not going to have turtle armor already. But when you're farming him for souls of might, then you're going to be able to use turtle armor and pretty much tank everything he has without having to move. He can't hurt me practically at this moment. I have too much defense and I have the heart statue next to me. So that's going to allow me to heal a little bit. And just in general, we're going to be able to stay here, kill the destroyer multiple times in one night and get souls of might. Now, one thing that we don't have is crazy amount of damage output. I use the Daedalus Stormbow against the Destroyer in my playthroughs, especially when I'm fighting him for the first time. But if you're going to be using Turtle Armor, the chances are you have slightly better items. You could probably use, for example, the Mega Shark with Chlorophyte Bullets, or you could use Crystal Bullets because they are piercing. You could do all sorts of different things. We're just going to use the Daedalus Stormbow here because, first of all, it's my favorite weapon. And second of all, this is what you would use in the fight normally anyway. For anyone here who's never fought the Destroyer before, you cannot stand like this if you're using anything less than Turtle Armor, pretty much. There might be one or two other armors, but if when it comes to the time that you actually fight Destroyer for the first time, you're going to need to run a lot. You're going to need to run left and right. And like, you're going to need a lot of buffs. I have zero buffs right now, and he still can't hit me. He still can't kill me. So just to be aware that you won't be able to do this with lesser armor, you're going to really need to have a lot of defense to just stand here like this. It's crazy how turtle armor is, by the way. Turtle armor just makes you so powerful against these kind of attacks. So we're just going to pick up some of these hearts next to me as well. I estimate that we're going to kill about two or three of these in the one night that we're doing it. And the only thing that's going to stop us from doing that is probably these wyverns. If too many wyverns spawns, then it's going to slow us down too much. And when you kill two or three destroyers in one night, that's enough souls of might to pretty much do everything you want, right? Like if you look top left, I've already got the pickaxe axe, so I don't need to kill the what the destroyer for pickaxe axe. And all I'm going to need to use it for is the Zenith because of the true knight's edge, of course. And maybe if I want to make the Avengers emblem, I mean, other than that, we don't really need to worry about souls of might. 
Now, a lot of wyverns are spawning here. I think it's because I don't have my calming potion on. So I have my calming potion on now. So we should be able to kill these wyverns. I almost got hit really hard there. Gotta be careful. Don't want to die. If you die, you're gonna we're gonna slow us down a lot. We don't want that to happen. Let's try and bring the destroyer up above the platforms so that his heart spawn on the platform so we can collect him straight away. And there he is. His hearts are on the platforms. And now we're going to spawn the second one. So you're just constantly spawning him on the same night. Holy arrows, Daedalus Stormbow. Something stronger if you want to kill him faster. Maybe you can kill him more than two or three. Like I'm probably going to get three here. There's my souls of flight from the white friends. Souls of might come from the bag itself. Got my destroyer trophy. And now that we have a calming potion on, there's a very low chance of getting a wyvern before another one spawns. Wyverns are the big thing that's going to slow you down here. So if they, if they don't spawn, you're better off. And calming potions are a great way to stop them from spawning. So we're just going to stand here now and literally hold left click. And if you have like a cup of tea or cola in your other head, just sit back, relax and have a drink. Maybe put something on the left mouse button so that you can just sit back and relax and you don't have to worry about holding the button either. Just keep an eye on your health. Heal when you absolutely have to. My Torrance Potion is doing a lot of work as well. Every time the eyes hit me, they actually end up hurting themselves just as much. Anyway, let's open up these bags. So we killed two of them. So we have 63 Souls of Might which is more than enough for everything pretty much because for the Mega Shark you need 20 Souls of Might. For the Pickaxe Axe you only need one Soul of Might. For the True Knight's Edge you need another 20 Souls of Might. And for the Adventure Emblem you need 5 Souls of Might. So that's pretty much enough Souls of Might to last you for all of the things that you're going to need it for. And how much do they sell for? Because Souls of Might sell pretty well. And this is obviously not the best setup because I have too many... NPCs here and they're not happy so they're not going to give me the best deal but I can sell them for 39 gold so every night you can earn about 40 gold and if you're on like expert